Hey everyone, so a little while back I asked you guys on Twitter what video you guys want me to do and a lot of you guys replied saying hair routine so I then asked you guys would you guys want me to just kind of show you the products I use or actually do them on wet hair and all the way to straightening and every single one who replied said they want me to actually do a demonstration on how I actually do it so this is what I'm doing today and it is so highly requested one of my most highly requested videos of all time actually so I'm really excited to share with you guys so this hair routine is the same for when I straighten and curl my hair um, which is what I'm doing today but I do a different hair routine a little bit when I just leave my hair naturally curly because it's very very curly and you'll see that in the video but it gets a little huge and not as curly as it is when I put in my curling products. So I'll do a different hair routine video when I actually curl, um, leave my hair naturally curly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Alright, so I just washed my hair and I threw it up in this towel turban, I guess. <laughs> so my hair is all up in here and I know it's not the best idea to do this because it'll dry out your hair a lot, but I don't know, it's just kind of easy for me to do that. So once that's been in there for a few minutes, I take it out and this is my natural hair, I guess. It gets a lot more crazy once it dries and you're gonna, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh so hard when I blow dry my hair because it's going to be like this big, but whatever, it's fine. So I have my hair and I'll just kind of part it a little bit. It doesn't really have to be perfect, you know, because I'm going to be fixing it later. So I'll just kind of throw it to the side I want and I'll have my hair like this. And actually before I even took my shower, I put some olive oil in my hair and I just put it in this little travel container because it's just easier for me instead of taking, you know, the whole olive oil um, bottle into my room every time I want to do this. And this is actually the best kind of deep conditioner that you can do. My hairstylist actually recommended to me that before I shower that I put my hair in a low pony and put straight up olive oil. Woo! <laughs> Just gonna flew out of my hands. Okay, I will just put in olive oil into my ponytail and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then shower and it just is a really good deep conditioner and it'll help your split ends. So I definitely recommend you do this. This has really transformed my hair. And this is extra virgin olive oil by the way if you are wondering. So for shampoo and conditioner I'll just kind of use whatever. Today I just used um, my mane and tail shampoo because I'm trying to use that up and then I use Aussie 3 Minute Miracle deep conditioner for my ends. And now the first product I'm going to put in is my Chi Silk Infusion. And this is what it looks like. It's like a silk reconstructing complex, apparently. And it just makes my hair really smooth and it protects against the heat for when I'm going to blow dry my hair. So I really, really love this. It makes my hair so soft. And I'll just put a little bit like that. It's kind of dripping down my hand. But I'll just rub it between my fingers and apply it below my ear. So I don't want my hair to get greasy. If you put it up in your scalp, it's going to make it look really oily and dirty, and that's not what we want. And I haven't brushed or combed my hair yet, I just use my fingers, so. Once that is in, I'm going to take my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, which is a heat protectant. And you can get this at any drugstore, and it's really inexpensive, so I'm just going to spray this all over my hair. and focus it on the ends because we really want to protect our hair from the high heat that we're going to be applying on it. And A lot of people forget this step to apply a heat protectant before they blow dry. A lot of people just assume to put it on before you're actually straightening it or curling it, but it's really important to do it before you blow dry. So once that is all done, I have a ton of hair. So kind of need to apply a lot of that. So this is the hair dryer I use. It's just a Conair one. You can get this at drugstores. Um, I don't know if they sell the exact model anymore because I got this a few years ago, but it's nothing special, just a blow dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. I will fast forward through this part and make it, you know, where you can't hear it because I don't want to um, hurt your ears during this part because I don't know how loud it's going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. I don't section my hair off. I just kind of go blow dry it. You know, it's not really anything special, I'll just do it until it's dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair and I will be right back. <laughs> Alright, so once my hair is mostly dry, then I will actually switch my blow dryer to the cool setting just to give it a little bit of a break and it also kind of makes my hair a little bit more shiny when I leave it um, a little bit cool at the end so that's just a little tip that I have as well so I just parted it with my hand again and 
didn't really use a brush yet. Um, I really don't like using brushes on my hair because my hair is so curly that I find when I brush it, it'll get even more big and frizzy. So <laughs> I kind of wait until my hair is straight to brush through it. But this is what I'm left with after I blow dry. And actually when I um, when I do my hair routine for when my hair is curly, my hair will actually be a lot more defined and not crazy like this. But when I blow dry it, it is a lot crazier and when I air dry it also is a lot less crazy but I will do another hair routine for when I actually leave my hair curly and wear it natural so stay tuned for that as well. After blow drying I put in my Alterna Enzyme Therapy Hemp Seed Sheer Pomade and this is a brand that you can get at Ulta. I'm not sure if you can get this exact product anymore because I have been looking at Ulta and I haven't been finding it recently but I got this so long ago I don't even know where you can find it anymore but basically it is um, a shine pomade so it's going to give you a lot of high shine. It also protects against the UV ray so it's going to protect your hair from color fading if you have color treated hair. This is a really great product for you. I don't have color treated hair but I still really like this because it protects against the sun so it's not going to damage it as much and it also protects against the heat and it also kind of protects against frizz which we all know I need. So I put in a little dime sized amount and this is a really thick consistency as you can see, and it has gold shimmer in it. It's so weird, but it works really great. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, rub it between my fingertips. It's really thick and sticky, and you'd think that it would just completely make your hair really goopy. But when you just apply it to the ends, it's gonna make your hair hold that straight a lot more. So I really, really like this stuff. Alright, so once I've applied that, I'm going to apply my Sidhu Anti-Frizz Polishing Treatment. And this has argan oil, so it's going to make my hair really soft and smooth and also protect against the frizz. So I really like this. And I'm just going to be applying a dime-sized amount again, just one pump. About that much product. Rub it between my fingertips. And I will apply this again. I might bring this a little bit higher than I brought the pomade, but not much higher. After I've applied the anti-frizz treatment, I will actually take my big paddle brush, and this is a Denman, Denman paddle brush, and you can get this at Folga.com. I will link that in the description box below. And I actually just brush this through. This is the first time I've been brushing my hair. So I don't like to brush my hair too much. Alright, so at this time I will turn on my straightener, which is the GHD. This is the limited edition color one. But um, I got mine at Sephora. I got this actually as a gift from my best friend for my birthday. So I really, really like this straightener, and I'm just going to turn it on. And when it beeps again, that just means it's turned on. So if you hear a beeping, that just means my straightener is all ready. It does not take long to turn on at all. I actually used to use the Chi straightener, but um, I recently converted because it broke. So my friend actually got me this one, and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I actually have a video comparing the Chi to the GHD. So I will link that in the description box below as well if you want. You can go check that out. So now I'm going to apply a little, little, little tiny bit of my Aveda Smoothing Fluid. And this is also just going to keep my hair smooth. I actually just do like that little, really little bit. So I don't want to apply too much to my hair, but this makes my hair so soft. And this has a really, really, really similar consistency to the Chi um, Silk Infusion. But I find this one's a little bit lightweight and it doesn't protect against the heat like the Chi one does. But yeah, so I just apply a little tiny bit to my hair. And then I will go in and take my heat tamer spray from Tresemme again. And I'm just going to apply a little bit more heat protectant to my hair before I straighten it. And then I'm just going to brush one more time. Okay, so now my hair is ready to be straightened, and I actually have this much hair, so it's not super, super long in length, but it's really, um, I have a ton of hair, as you guys can see, I'm sure. So my hair definitely doesn't lack volume. I don't need to put any 
root lifting sprayer and <laughs> my hair looks so funny. Okay, so now I'm going to straighten my hair and I actually don't section my hair off at all. No, it's probably surprising because I have such thick, curly, textured hair that you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. But I find that it actually takes me a lot longer to straighten my hair when I section it off than when I just go ahead and straighten it. And then after it's all straightened, I'll go back and fix a few pieces that are curly. Usually around here I have a little bit of wave, but that's pretty much it. It's really not a huge deal for me. I don't have to section it off or anything. Usually it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to straighten my hair, but if I section it off, like I tried doing that before, and it's taken me 30 to 40 minutes for some reason, I don't know, it just takes me way longer and my hair is a little bit more poofy I find than if I just go ahead and go through it straight through. So I don't really know why, but I just find it a lot easier to just go through it. So I will fix my part a little bit with my fingers. I don't have a comb or anything. I'm not a big comb person. I feel like a lot of people are, but I just don't really like combs. But I part my hair over my left eyebrow, so I just kind of go follow the arch and bring it over, and then I start on the opposite side. I don't really know why. I just find it easier to do my bangs later. But I'm just going to take the first section. I usually take about an inch or two of hair at a time. Um, I just find it easier that way. And I'll just start at the root and go down. I'll just usually have to go over my hair one or two times. And then I just like to go over it once as a whole. And I find it easier to put my hair behind my shoulder like this so I can keep it out of the way so I know what parts I have done and which parts need to be straightened still. So again, I just take an inch or two section at a time and then I'll just run my straightener through it once or twice. So after I've straightened about half of my hair, I will put it into sides. I'll put the straightened part on one end and then my non-straightened hair on the other side. And then I actually start doing my bangs. So then I actually, instead of continuing to go from the back to the front, then I will actually start on my bangs and finish the rest. So I'm just going to take my bangs. I guess they're really not bangs anymore because they're so long and grown out. But I will take about where I think my bangs are and a little bit of extra hair and then I will just pull them in front of my hair like this and kind of curve it and that way they're not going to be flat against my face they're gonna have a little bit of volume just let that sit for a sec and I feel like my bangs take the most straightening of all part of my hair for some reason and I'll just have to go to the tip. And then I continue doing the same process, just taking a little bit of hair and straightening it and then I will do this to the rest of my hair and I will be right back. Alright, so I just finished straightening my hair and this is what it looks like now. So it's really straight. And then the last product I will put in my hair is the Smooth and Shine Polishing Instant Instant Repair Spray On Polisher, which is also a frizz sealer. This will also not only add shine, but it protects against the UV rays, adds protein, detangles, smooths, smooths frizzes, split ends, and flyaways. So this is kind of one of those all-in-one products that is something that I cannot live without. This is my most prized possession hair product ever, and I love this so much. And I think they changed the bottle of this, so if you can't find um, this exact bottle, don't look for the bottle, just look for the... Um, the brand which is Smooth and Shine and you can get this at Target. This is where I got mine. And I've been using this for about a year now and I have this much left and I've used so much but I still have a lot left so I'm absolutely in love with this and I will just spray two sprays on each side of my hair and it actually makes my hair so soft and smooth. So that is all I do for my hair and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye!